Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today's video is a request um, from some people that have asked me to show how to do a look wearing um, glasses or someone that has small eyes to look bigger. Um, I'm going to combine that into this one video because I've done my foundation, done concealer, Urban Decay Primer Potion is on my eyelids. I am going to get started. It would take a really um, pretty kind of, I'm going to show you a couple colors first that you can start out with. You're going to want to take um, a really light, pretty, kind of shimmery, satiny, frosty color, whatever you can get. Um, you want it to have some kind of a shimmer in it, though, because shimmer is going to attract the um, light in the person's eye and open up an area really well. Um, a color that I really like is MAC Dazzle Light. Um, another option would be... Um, MAC Gleam, if you like more of a pinky color. Also, another pinky color, MAC Jest. And then if you want like a more goldy kind of color, there is MAC Rice Paper. So I'm going to take Dazzle Light, and I'm going to tap that from the inner corner all over the lid there. And this color might not show up a ton on camera here, but it will show up better in pictures or in person. So we're just going to go over the whole lid from tear duct area all the way out. The okay, next color I'm going to take um, for the outer corner is I'm going to go with a little darker brown, but you don't have to go this dark if you don't want to. Um, and this is also a matte color. Again, it can be a shimmer color or a matte color. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going with the matte color because I want the focus to be the inner corner and the tear duct area, which is also, just so you know, it's going to be really bright. It's going to really open up the eye great. Um, this color is handwritten, also a matte color. So you can take now, we'll keep this pretty simple. You can go ahead and take a small shading brush. Okay, I'm just going to take that color and pack it on. I'm going to tap off the excess. You're going to take that color. Sorry. We're going to start putting it on the outer corner here. Just up to the crease. Bring it in just slightly. From lash line up to crease, I'm just kind of softly feather it in. I'm just trying to create kind of a simple kind of depth there in the corner, just to add emphasis, and then kind of sweep that in a V motion as well, because you're gonna want to blend this out. I like to take the first brush again and go back in just to kind of feather that line and soften it right there so that it blends nicely. And then don't forget to take your large and blend. Okay, go ahead and take your foundation brush and do any cleanup you need to do. Okay, next. I love this brush. I'm going to show you this brush. This is called the Large Fluff E50 brush from Sigma. And it's huge. It's huge. I'm going to be taking this color here, Vanilla by MAC. And this is what I'm going to use under the brow and to blend out everything. We're trying to keep the eye just very open, very soft. And I love this brush because I do feel like it just kind of I don't know, it just blends well, it covers that whole area nicely, it grabs the crease line and blends that out nicely, and anyway, it just looks really, really nice, I really, really like it. Okay, so when you're trying to make your eyes look really, really big, or you're trying to emphasize underneath glasses, um, eyebrows are pretty key for something like that. So you're going to want to take 
your eyebrows and you're going to want to make them very clean, very sharp, and very defined. So take your whatever your eyebrow color is and you're going to fill it in keeping your lines very sharp and clean. You're also going to want to tweeze your eyebrows and keep them very well groomed because your eyebrows become sort of your frame that are going to draw a person's eye to your eyes, especially if you're wearing glasses because with glasses your eyebrows are kind of framing the, the glasses. So it's very important to keep the eyebrows very clean and very defined. And I'm using a very, just this is a generic, actually this is a, sorry, I dropped it there. It's a BH Cosmetics, but I liked how teeny, teeny, tiny this brush was. So we're going to do that. Okay, another way to really kind of take your eyes and make them open, really, really open, is you're going to want to line the top lash. This is going to cause the eyes to open up wide that way and also um, to give the eyes a really pretty shape. So I'm using a liquid liner. You can use any liquid liner that's your favorite. I'm using Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner and this is just in the color black. It doesn't have to be black. It can be um, brown, dark gray, whatever. Black just is probably the most generic and it also is going to be um, look the best, I think, for um, this. And so what we're going to do, easiest way to do any kind of liquid liner or eyeliner on your eyes and to create a ring, a wing is to look down into a mirror. So I have my mirror here. I'm going to put it down lower so I'm looking down into it. I've got my, um, this is great because it looks like a pen. If you're looking down into a mirror, it's a little bit easier than looking up because then everything gets out of your way and you probably can't really see what I'm doing. Let me come in a little closer. So you're going to start from the outer lash line all the way across. I am creating a line out here to help guide. Plus it's going to help open up the eye. We're going to keep the line nice and thick on the outer corner. keeping it very thinner towards the inner corner of the eye. So as it gets thicker, you're going to make your eye shape come out this way and it's going to open it up higher like that. So I don't know if you can see a difference between this eye and this eye, but it's already drawing the line of the eye out and open. Makes the eyes look really open, makes your lashes look thicker. Okay, there you have a really um, pretty liner with the wing. Okay, I'm going to go back in really quickly. I just want to make sure that I have a really pretty um, shimmer on the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm taking, this is a medium angled shading brush and it is the E70 Sigma. It's kind of angled like that and I like it. I'm actually taking a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the Semi-Precious Collection. And this is the color crystal pink. I'm going to take this outer color here and I'm going to be placing this color right under the eyebrows and bringing that color down. This adds a fantastic shimmer. It's going to really open the eye up, make your eyes look bigger really emphasize the, the eyebrow which is just going to make your eyes just really really pop and then I'm also going to put a tiny bit in the inner corner tear duct area here. Now the other trick you have um, is if you have like a 
coal pencil that is either skin toned or off white or even white. White's going to be pretty bright just so you're aware. Or I have this NARS um, shadow stick and this is in the color Goddess and it looks like that. You're going to line your waterline with this. Now what this is going to do is this has got a lot of shimmer in it but it's going to draw attention to your eye and it's going to really, really open it up. So that goes on the waterline. Okay, and then go ahead and you're going to do loads and loads and loads of mascara. Um, another important step is I haven't done this yet because I was going to wait until after I got all my eyeshadow on is you're going to want to go ahead and do, do whatever concealer you like the best under your eyes because you're going to want when you're wearing glasses or you want your eyes to appear bigger you're going to want your eye underneath to be really clean and all that and not have any large dark circles under your eyes so go ahead and make sure you conceal your eyes really really well I'm just using a MAC Studio Finish Concealer and a big fluffy brush to apply this because it blends it in nicely. And I probably should have done this before I put my mascara on, just FYI. Okay, hopefully you can see how big and kind of doe-eyed my eyes look now. Um, go ahead and finish the face. Um, do a little bit of bronzer. I'm just going to do my NARS Laguna bronzer with a Sigma Tapered Face F25 blood brush. Blush. This is my Tarte Natural Beauty Amazonian Clay. I'm going to powder the face with a uh, CoverGirl Translucent Powder. Translucent Loose Powder with a Samantha Chapman brush. Same mineralized skin finish from MAC, and this is a Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 Blood Brush. I want to add just a little more highlight on the tops of the cheeks bone and a C section around the eye. This is any of this highlighting I'm doing, I'm, I'm like, it's very JLo. So, but that's how JLo gets the emphasis around her eyes, is by all the highlighting. Okay. And then just go with the lip color. I'm today I'm just doing this just to try it out. I got it as a sample. It's Tarte 24-7 Natural Lip Sheer. Just kind of looks like that. It's basically a tinted chapstick. Just to keep the lips simple again because I want the focus to be on the eyes. Okay, there you have it. This is my look that sorry, I wish I had glasses that I could put on and put over so you could kind of see. So imagine me wearing glasses. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway, but you can see how it just opens up my eyes, makes my eyes look bigger. Avoid putting too much stuff underneath the eye um, when you are making your eyes look appear bigger because thing putting color or liner or anything under your eyes makes them tend to look smaller. So go ahead and give this a try. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this was helpful and useful. Um, I will have more tips and all that on the blog post that I do with this video on my blog. I will link everything in the description box for you. Um, hopefully it's been helpful and stay tuned because I'm going to be doing some fun Halloween looks coming up. Um, again, thanks guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye!